everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Academic Adventures. So we are starting in some place new today, and you might be a little confused, but we're here for a reason. We're going to be spending some time with Cedric at first, and then it is the debutante ball today, so we'll talk about that in a bit. And then we'll see what's going on with William and Kanda. So we are in San Myshuno because I mentioned in the last episode that Cedric was getting more into fashion. He's here on a lunch, I guess a lunch date in a way, with Aisha. Oh my god, is that Amira? Y'all, I can't right now. No. She's watching over him. She's watching her baby be successful. He's, okay. So yes, we are here and I'm gonna have them grab a table while we're here. Amira, please. This is like, I don't need this right now. Okay, so I was waiting for the host to show up and in the meantime, this place is popping, y'all. Aria is here, Diana is here. I saw Sadir. is that a key? Akio? Akio is here. I saw Charles and Bellatrix. They're here. Who else is here? I think I saw Samaria. Juliet is here. Maxwell is here. Duke Kona is here. Count Francis is here. Oh my god. Do I just not go out in public often with these sims? Like, I'm shocked by the amount of people there are. Right, we're gonna request a table. You know what? I'm actually gonna request this specific table because it's away from everyone. And Cedric and Aisha are having, like, a business talk, basically. So while they're waiting for a table, maybe a week before this there was an event in oasis springs and alice may was like to cedric like oh you should you should bring your designs i heard aisha is gonna be there you should bring your designs you should show them to her and kind of ask her like how she got started with the couture designing and like fashion design and how she balances that with her royal life and all of that stuff and cedric's like Okay. Cedric brings his little booklet of designs and he sees Aisha and he's like, I wanted to ask. I know I've seen like so many of your like gorgeous gowns and dresses and just curious if you do more masculine designs. I noticed your name's been all the buzz lately, okay? Maybe Aisha has just come out with a new line and it's like poppin'. Oh, I keep saying poppin', it's like really good. <laughs> but he asked Aisha like, I was curious if you do some masculine designs too. And Aisha was like, I don't really, I'm gonna be honest, I find them kind of boring. And Cedric's like, oh, do you? think these are boring shows his designs think like Lil Nas red carpet Met Gala sort of design and Aisha sees them and is like this is actually pretty good kid like you're actually pretty talented and Cedric's like <laughs> yay okay cool we have our table so Aisha's yeah Cedric's like I, uh, hi Akio hello oh my god <laughs> Akio's a fan of Aisha's wait Aisha wait are you signing his autograph or like taking a selfie with him what is happening here? Oh my god, Akio asked to take a selfie with Aisha while Cedric and Aisha are having like a business lunch. That's freaking hilarious. Okay, Akio, sir, I, I need you to go. Just go away, please. Anyway, so I, Cedric's like, I, I do have some like questions I want to ask you two. And I just like, okay, well, why don't you, you know, I, I have to be back in San Mayushino next week, but if you're able to come by, we can go out to lunch and we, you can ask me like any question that you want. Let's do some, I don't know, coffee. Cedric can have chamomile. Aisha, I think she'd have some wine, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'll give Aisha some wine. <laughs> Cedric, no wine for you. Aisha is considered a fashion design phenomenon. It says, congratulations, you have made it to the Fashion Design Hall of Pain. You are renowned for best blots, fantastic fittings, and marvelous makeover. I don't think she does the makeover stuff, but I imagine she's like a couture designer. That's like the fanciest designer you can be. Her dresses cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But Cedric has like admired her work for years. So he's just asking her, can you like ask about career? He's feeling very friendly right now. You know, his dad kind of just told him to, well, first of all, compliment her outfit. His dad told him to focus on himself. And this is what he's really been focusing on, like the design aspect of things. Discuss interests maybe. And then I want him to ask about career as well. So he's just asking like, you know, how do you balance like your royal life? with being a, literally a fashion design phenomenon. And she's like, I don't do a lot of my royal duties. And that was a difficult conversation I had to have with my mom. 
but my mom has the help from Aria, Gabriel, Manuel, Juliet, Kimmy, just, I mean, like, she's mostly part of the Sulani royal family now, but Kimmy still helps with things, like, they are able to help my mother, they are able to support my mother in carrying out her duties, attending events that the royal family is expected to attend, attending all, you know, stuff for the organization, the charity, while my mom handles all the political stuff, like, they are there to support her, and Aisha still does like attend some things. She's there when her mom like really, really needs her. But for the most part, this is her life and this is what she chose. This is what she loves. This is what she wanted to do. And Cedric's like, okay, yeah, you know, like my sister really only has me and my dad as like the official part of the royal family. Obviously her and Caspian probably will get married one day, but you know, he's not technically part of the royal family. So Cedric's like, I, I would still probably want to be a bit more involved with my royal duties, I think, than Aisha is. But if I want to get started with this, am I going to have to, you know, like, is this going to have to be my life? Am I not going to be able to do anything else? Am I going to have time for everything else? And Aisha's like, you can make it work. She's like, I can help you. I can mentor you. I can guide you. We can do like an event, like a collabed event, because I think our designs go really well with each other. So they're basically just talking business. I don't want to like bore anyone with this, because this is very different from the episodes that we've had in the past. But yeah, just like now they've kind of got this business talk going. So Cedric has the setup for kind of what he wants the next few years to look like after he, he graduates from high school, which, you know, hasn't been going that well. I'm sure Aisha's kind of asking about high school too, asking how it's going. So it's like, oh, it's actually not going that great. <laughs> the past few months have been a little bit hell, but I've been trying to just make it through. And Aisha's asking about that. I'm sure Cedric kind of tells her about Tally and all that stuff too. And Aisha's like, well, it sounds like things have been pretty rough. She's like, that's rough, buddy. But, you know, your friends will come around if, if, you know, if, if it sounds like you might need to apologize more. <laughs> but that maybe they'll come around and you never know. Give it a try. You know, maybe it sounds like you lost yourself a bit in high school, and which is understandable. Aisha's like, I lost my dad too at like, I was older than you, but it was an important time in her life. Like she was kind of getting started with the designer stuff and her dad really never got to see her get really big. So she's like, I kind of feel you in that sense. And Cedric's like, this is just nice to talk to someone else who's also lost a parent. I wanted to do this before the debutante ball so Cedric's kind of got his future all set up but now we're gonna have the debutante ball so we are now at the Winnenberg slash Henburn Palace having the debutante ball so Cedric did decide to come also when he told his family that he might not want to they're like it's literally at our house you have to <laughs> or at least like you know maybe not that direct but they're like but it's you're gonna be here anyway technically <laughs> like we have to chaperone this has been planned to be at our palace. Cedric was like, okay, <laughs> you right, you right. So I'm not having Cedric wear one of his designs. I know I kind of like hyped all that up and stuff, but it would make sense for him to, but I feel like, oh no, that's not what I picked for you, Sissy. I feel like Jabari says to Cedric and he's like, your mom really, really wanted you to wear your grandfather's tux for your debutante ball. Like it's, you know, she really wanted you to wear it and Cedric's like, oh, of course I'll wear it <laughs> if mom wanted me to. William, why are you calling? We'll get to you in a second. Oh my God, are you calling Alice May to tell her about Kanda? Okay, okay. All right, fine, y'all can talk. Okay, but we're having the debutante ball here. Now, Cedric has not really been like, you know, been a little unpopular with his peers. The past few months, we all saw why in the last few episodes but he's been taking time to focus on himself. He hasn't talked to Tally in quite a while. Him and Tally's relationship is at like an, a little negative right now. They haven't really spoken. Things are kind of awkward between them. But some people, some of the royals, you know, it's a small group. I kind of made that clear. It's not going to be like as wild as some of the other debutantes. Well, actually, we'll, we'll see. I'm not actually sure. But we have, of course, Lady Nora and Lady Cassidy. They asked each other to the debutante ball. So they're each other's dates. So Sissy and Itaro are still dating, but they had a little bit of a 
of miscommunication. So Sissy, this is her second debutante ball. She gets two, she's special. She kind of fall, like her and Shen were very young when they came to the first one. And now they're like some of the older, they're like the oldest ones here now. Sissy wanted to bring Shen again because she's like, that's my bestie. Like I, I want him to come with. He's not part of the Alliance, so he doesn't technically get to go. And Itaro's like, okay, great. I'll bring a friend too. Itaro brought Momo. So Momo and Itaro are pretty good friends. I noticed that Momo and Sissy don't have a good relationship. I don't know why, I don't really know what happened. I don't know if it was like during prom or something like that, but they don't. So I wonder like, is there something going on? I don't think there's something going on between Itaro and Momo because like Itaro, I mean, I don't know. He seemed like a pretty good guy. and They've been dating for like several months now, but they're literally like, talking a lot right now. So I I guess we'll have to see. Itaro was like, I decided to bring someone too. I feel like this was kind of last minute. And Susie's like, who who are you bringing? <laughs> let's see, let's, let's, can everyone just like dance here? And he's like, oh, Momo, she, you know, I told her that you're bringing Shen and she asked if she could come then. And Susie's like, excuse me, that's different. Is it different? I don't, I don't know. I mean, she's like, you're bringing, a friend of yours that doesn't like that doesn't i don't know who doesn't like who if sissy doesn't like momo if momo doesn't like sissy i don't know what the tea is here now momo is like getting down and dancing um dance here can we get like other people to come dance will they come dance do i have to call people over to the meal again but yeah i i feel like things are a little bit on edge now with itaro and with sissy and i mean i don't know if itaro doesn't like shen i and has he i feel like he would have met him i mean that's his girlfriend's like best friend do you know Shen? Okay, him and Shen kind of know each other. It feels like they've maybe just met in passing before, so I guess we'll have them talk again. But maybe you should try dancing with Sissy because I feel like Sissy might, I mean, she's trying to dance it off right now, so maybe it's fine. But ask her to slow dance because you know, if Sissy's tense about the fact that you brought this girl that she doesn't really like, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe we should do something about it. <laughs> so maybe you should sweet, sweetheart dance with Sissy. Let's fix that. Okay, now I do want Nora and Cassidy to also sweetheart dance. Are they dating? I think they are dating, right? Wait, 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 Sissy. Oh, not Sissy. What's your name? Cassidy! <laughs> sweetheart dance together with Cassidy. Cause I, I'm, are they dating? And then also McKenna, Lady McKenna, she brought Lord, Ar or not Lord Archer, he's not a Lord. She, he brought Archer. Also Sissy did not want to dance with Idara. What is going on there? Okay, but Nora and Cassidy are you oh my god you can flirt while dancing please adorable romance affection reveal crush so Sissy's waiting for Itaro Itaro said he was coming to dance with her okay everyone that's supposed to be here needs to be here so I'm getting this was kind of what is happening what ah! hello hello you're gonna get me into trouble aren't you excuse me wait no there's a romantic relationship <gasps> Oh my God, Momo has a crush on Lordy Taro. No, where's Sissy? Where's Sissy? Did Sissy, where is she? Oh my God, I found her. She's going upstairs. Why is she going upstairs? Sissy, where are you going? <gasps> Wait, did she see it? Did she see it? Oh my God, y'all, she saw it. No way, no way. Your mother taught you better than this. You, girl, you stop in there. Sissy's not gonna take any of this. Wow, that happened so fast. Momo thought she was being being like sneaky about it? Where's Itaro? Itaro's right here. Girl, yell at him. Yell at him. Drama by she argue about relationship. I don't want him to be a jerk. Are you serious? I don't know. That's pretty much a jerk. I don't want him to like lie. I feel like we've had so many dealings of that in this academic adventure series. I mean, mostly Sterling. I guess Colin wasn't great either. What is happening here? There, okay. She's like, are you serious? Okay, so yeah, maybe Sissy literally has been telling Itaro. I, I, like, I told you she likes you. She literally just tried something with you. And he's like, I, I thought we were just friends. I didn't, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize she had a crush on me. Wait, is he, if he's apologized. I don't know, y'all. I'm so torn. Momo, girl, no. 
No, 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 no. You're, you, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know, should Sissy give him another chance? This is like the final episode before the time scheme. I feel like I have to make a decision, but I, wait, wait, but their romantic relationship is also going down. Does she need backup here? Where's Shen? Where's Cedric? They're dancing. Oh my God, Sissy is so, she's so mad at him. I thought they were cute together. You know what, Cedric, come back up your cousin. Go here. And oh no! Are you serious? Sissy! No, girl, come back, come back, come back! Okay, that's it. That's it. Wait, are you are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's not saying no. Okay, this is it. This will be the deciding factor. If Momo has the what are we talk with Itaro. And if he says something along the lines of like not breaking it off, not telling her they're not friends anymore, not telling her she needs to back off, then Sissy's gonna break up with him. This is the deciding factor. You know, if he was like, if he really didn't realize Momo had a crush on him, but Sissy is bothered by her for a good reason too. That's it, you're done, sir. You are out of here. Sissy can do better. Are you, I not. Sissy, you can do so much better than him. He is out of, he, kick him out, kick him out. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe, I'm sorry, sissy. Cedric, go console your cousin. That was messed up. How do you, how do you, can you console her? Oh my God, do they have to stay the rest of the night here? Affection. Hug. Oh no, Cedric, stop dancing. Go console your cousin. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, Nora and Cassidy, are you guys dating yet? Because I, if you guys have kind of been in like a situation ship for a bit, reveal crush. I, I would like, I mean, you know, you guys are really cute. I want to see if you guys will date. Ask for a question. So Tally brought Shashi as a friend, mostly because I wanted an extra person here because <laughs> it is kind of a small group. Nora and Cassidy are hugging right now. Romance, affection, declare love publicly. publicly? And I, you know, I definitely don't want to force anything here if things don't work out oh no wait don't don't flirt in a group convert no all right you know what friendly deep thoughts ask to stargaze so you guys can get away from everyone cedric okay Sh i think shen oh sissy is crying at the sissy wait alice may is here go console her console princess sissy oh wait you can do this like through wait wait i don't think i've ever seen this before oh my gosh she's like Sissy, is that you? S Sissy's like, yeah. And Sissy like vents and tells her everything. Although she's on her phone right now. Complain about problems. Tell her everything that just happened. Alice May is like, you know, they're chaperoning here. And I feel like I am literally going to chaperone because during my debutante ball, King Johan and Sanira were nowhere to be seen. <laughs> and so much happened. Heartfelt compliment. All right, she's gonna trip Sissy. Cedric, I think it's time you talk to Tally. You guys have not been on good terms. But you know, she's here now and you, you're you like, listen, I really would like to talk to you. Let's ask to stargaze and then and then maybe he can apologize to her. Be like, hey, can can we talk? And she's like, I'm dancing right now. <laughs> He's like, can we please, can, can we talk outside? And Dali's like, are you gonna go girl? Oh my God. Okay, there, okay, yeah, she's gonna go talk to him. <laughs> it's like, that's gonna be awkward if not. Also Archer, so McKenna brought Archer. So I'm not sure if there's anything romantic between them or if it was just as friends. I couldn't really, I don't know. I mean, they're talking and chatting right now. I wasn't sure if I saw very much like chemistry between them or if they were just friends because they're, they're friends, you know, maybe do you have a crush on him? You're feeling very flirty around him. Oh, well, now you're focused. Slow dance, sweetheart. Maybe ask Archer to sweetheart dance and then we'll see if something happens between them. Okay, but Cedric and Tally are stargazing. He's, oh, hi, Bobo. I love that they're literally right next to Nora and Cassidy. Okay. Friendly, deep thoughts, apologize. Like, Tally, you know, this is really overdue and I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this, but like, I am so sorry. I was such a horrible friend to you. Wow, their relationship was negative earlier. She forgave him. I feel like she's like hearing him out. You know, it's been a while. They haven't talked a lot. I'm sure maybe Tally did start to miss Cedric too, but they hadn't talked in a while and she didn't like really know how to bring it up. Affection give gift. 
friendly gift? A carrot, a journal. Okay, nothing, nothing of note here. <laughs> but yeah, just like I really screwed up. I was a horrible friend. I am so sorry. I just got caught up in everything that was going on with school and all the social aspect of things. And it just, you know, and I was, I was kind of horrible to Davey and I feel really bad about it. And I've had, you know, I've, I've contemplated, like talked about this with my sister, with my dad. And I realized like where I went wrong. Well, I'm trying to figure out what does he, I don't know, give props. Tally does see, oh, they're, oh, I think they'll be okay. I, oh my God, it's 5.50 AM. It looks like they'll be okay. I think like, you know, they hadn't talked in a while and Tally was rightfully upset. You know, she wasn't being treated by Cedric very well, but Cedric's just like, I will never do that to you again. Like I, that was so horrible of me. I just, I feel awful that I did that to you, but they seem like they'll be okay. I think, I think they're high-fiving. So Cedric like knows what he needs to work on. He's taking the time to work on himself. Tally's forgiven him. And I think they'll work on becoming closer friends again. Lastly, oh my God, Cassidy is punching the teddy bear. What happened? Invite Lady Cassidy to dance? Girl, Sissy's just trying to dance. Okay, all right, Cedric, come dance with your cousin. She's like sadly dancing. This is really sad, but at least she's trying to have fun. Dance with Princess Sissy, come on. All right, Cassie and Nora, the romantic relationship has gone. Why can she not ask? Are y'all dating lovebirds? But they're not like, they're not dating, right? Why doesn't she have that? option oh man the food went bad y'all i'm so confused why why they have like not a lot of is it not meant to be maybe it's not meant to be i don't want to force anything but like there's literally no option to ask to be girlfriend also there's stinky food everywhere and i think i think it's time to end this it's time i i just, i don't know maybe maybe they're not meant to be in a relationship maybe that'll change later i don't know maybe that might be have to be something that we play on my streams but okay it's 7 a.m the food stinks so i think we're gonna end the debutante ball there Hey guys, so after recording the section with William and Kanda, I decided to turn it into a machinima. So just some background information for this. This takes place a few days after Kanda left. In the last episode, there are some detailed story posts that I am linking in the description below that I made from the last episode. I hope you enjoy.
So with that, we are officially wrapping up the Academic Adventure series and we're gonna start gearing things up for season three of the Royal Family. I'm going to have like a what you should know before the next season starts video coming out. Um, and you guys will kind of get to see what William has been up to, what Kanda has been up to, what Cedric has been up to on the next season too. But this series was a lot of, honestly, this might be like one of like the most fun I've had with one of the mini series. The other ones were very fun too, but this one just, I don't know, I was, I, I, re I really enjoyed this one. So if you're excited for season three, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see when all the new stuff gearing up for season three of the Royal Family comes out. Thank you guys for going on this ride with me. I will see you in season three of the Royal Family. Bye.